people at, in America are going to be making their Thanksgiving dinners. Gotcha. Right. The countdown is on. And this morning, we're talking turkey with three great chefs. Joining us, John Willoughby, executive editor of Gourmet Magazine. Alice Cornicelli, executive chef of Butter Restaurant here in New York and host of Food Network's The Cooking Loft. And Kent Rathbun, chef of the acclaimed restaurant Abacus in Dallas. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We all kind of psyched up. We kind of really jazzed up and ready to go. We have three different ideas for turkey. People at home, if you're thinking, maybe I want to change, now's the moment to learn some cool stuff. What are you doing here? This is pretty much a straight ahead, old fashioned, traditional turkey bowl with two important characteristics. It's fast. Fast. Three hours start to finish. And it is the most tender turkey that any of us have ever tasted of the hundreds of turkeys we've done over the years. Because you guys take this very, 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 very seriously. seriously. We do. Right. And this is, and here is the secret. Mm -hmm. The old fashioned blue speckled enamel pan. That's it? That's it. Because we, were we, do it, we did a menu that start to finish four hours, so right. we wanted a fast turkey. Right. And one of our food editors remembered that her mother used sure. to always make the turkey yeah. covered Giant in this pan. roasting pan. Exactly. Yeah. And we happened to have one like most people up in the top shelf. Sure. We got it down. We roasted <laughs> the turkey in it. And it was amazing. It's incredibly tender. All right. So well, the first thing is you can't have a 28-pound bird. No. Nope, because who like, has a roasting pan that's big enough, right? right? You need about a 14-pound. 14 14-pounder 14 right. will fit in here. It will. And so uh, what's, what did you, let's first, what did you do to this? Very bird? simple. We put some onions and some thyme in the cavity, and mm -hmm. then you brush it with a lot of butter. A so lot of butter. The butter gives you lots of pan dripping. So you, you don't have make... to stick it inside the skin or anything no, like no, that? No, no, no. You just brush it on top. This okay. is very simple. Super simple. And then simple. halfway through cooking, you put in a little bit of water so that it steams a little bit. Right. And then the last 20 minutes, okay. you take off the cover so the skin browns. Wow. That's it. So how long before you're done that you take off the top? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yep. Okay. And so we, we're doing some taste. We got a little turkey. I mean, some gravy there. Help yourself. Do you mind if I... Go right ahead. Oh, this has been sitting here for a few minutes. <laughs> It'll uh, still never be Never mind. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mmm. I'm good with the skin. Yeah, great, huh? That's working. Hey, Doc. Thank you. Way to go. All right, John <laughs> Willoughby, Alice Corner Shelley. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Very well, thank you. What is you. the key to the success of your bird? Well, the thing about mine is it's really a finishing touch. So you're done with your turkey. You roast it until it's 160, mm -hmm. 155 mm -hmm. with carryover to 165. And then you have the pleasure of taking a lot of tinfoil and creating a little tent. Mm. which sort of creates an air of mystery when your guests come in. Yeah. Your turkey's done. What is this contraption? Mm -hmm. And there's this wonderful smoky aroma uh, in the house. And it's just some wood chips. And you can see they're smoking mm. a little bit, right? And they create... It really smells good. That kind of creates that Thanksgiving uh, mm -hmm. burnt leaf uh, mojo. <laughs> and you then, know what? If you don't have your... Because you can't... Where can you go to get your burnt leaf mojo anymore, right? And then we're going to just take our turkey. Right. And in the roasting rack, pop right. it right in there. Ah, and then put the tent back you up. You see that, that sizzle, right? Oh, yeah. And then and you, you just the drop this going right on over. The, on the, on the uh, coals and everything? Yeah, it's just some wood chips that have been soaked for a few minutes right. to moisten them to generate mm -hmm. some smoke. And then you just, it's like a spa treatment. It's like a little facial to finish that turkey off. Yeah? And it makes you feel like you did something really unusual and special. Right. I think every year someone's looking to do something okay. How long? Different. How long do you keep that sucker in there? This sucker is going to stay in here about uh, 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. Nice low heat and just let it kind of hang out you and might? get its facial. Mm -hmm. Please. You can mm. see that smoke coming out. That's and working. Then, and and everybody's going to be jazzed up because it smells, right? Yeah, it, I think it you. whets the appetite. And then it's great on sandwiches the next day. All right, Alex, thank you very, very thank much. You. Really appreciate that. How you doing, man? What do you say, Harry? How you doing? What's up, yo? You know what? Coming up from, from the south, baby. Got yeah. a little fried turkey going. <laughs> <laughs> what, you ever done this? What? No. You know what? We've been threatening to do this forever, but it's hard to fit a 50-gallon drum yeah. on in a New York City apartment. Check this out. This right. thing is a little electric turkey fryer. By the way, it worked great. I was a little leery because I'm used to yeah. using the big gas yep. burner, but yep. uh, that works good. So what's the, what's the, what's the stuff? Key to the deal is the brine. Okay, so yeah. this is sugar. Oh, so you, you do the serious water. brine? How many days? You know what? Uh, it depends on how big the turkey is. Mm -hmm. if you, that, by the way, that was Cajun seasoning. Okay. And this is salt. And, and you know... <laughs> <laughs> what it is, it is all about the salt and the brine, You know right? what? Here's the thing. That's yeah. a big chunk of meat. Yeah. And if you don't get something in there to make it taste good, then, yep. then you got to fill it. you got to season it on mm -hmm. the outside yep. and all that kind of stuff. All right. So you stick it in there for a day or two? You know what? If it's, if it's, I'd say 14 to 16 pound turkey mm -hmm. overnight, or, right. you know, like 24 yeah, yeah, hours, yeah. any more than that, 48. Okay. All right. So you've brined this bird and then you stick it in 
stick it in the deep fryer. Mm -hmm. A little more, than, little, little less than three minutes a pound. Right. And uh, you'd fry it about 400 degrees. Yeah. Check this out. What's this? This is, this is a little green chili red eye gravy from Texas. Okay. Now, you uh, gonna so try you, that out? <laughs> you need to. You need. You, can I just say? Oh, by the way. Alex and uh, Doc are over there going, hmm. <laughs> they hey, got their attention. By the way, and they didn't mention this, but you know, brining a turkey and roasting it in an oven yeah. also is very good. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it right. works really, really go. well. I got to do this. Uh huh. Absolutely. Well, no, no, no. Mm. But before you smoke it, you could brine it. Absolutely. Awesome. Here's the deal meat has a different texture as a result of the. Right. Yeah, it's it's very it's very tender mm. and it's uh, it's very uh, moist because of the brine. Because mm. soaking in the water for 24 hours gives yeah. it a really nice moist. You know, now I know why they do this. Why they stick it in the. That's totally. You know, worth that whole it. 50 gallon drum though in an apartment, hard to do. <laughs> not, not good. Hard to pull off. You need hard drama. Thanks. Not a good All idea. All right, Kent. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, Thank buddy. you so much. All right. <laughs> Thanks to everybody for participating. If you want to get tips and recipes from all these chefs, all you have to do is log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. And just remember, don't throw the frozen turkey into the hot oil.